How you doing, y'all? This is uh, Deborah Ann. Well, here I am at the hospital. It's been tough. Uh, yep, I got diagnosed with that corona, COVID. I don't know how I got it. Wore a mask everywhere I went and kept myself safe, but just never know how it's going to come around you. Um, I'm feeling a lot better. I got over the hard part, and it was my lungs. It's congested, so what they gave me is some uh, Dex something for the steroids, an antibiotic, and a lot of liquids, and a blood thinner. I had a lot of IVs. I was really bad on... Um, I was dehydrated. Um, all I know is uh, I'm here at the hospital and they're ready to release me by tomorrow. So I praise God because this morning I didn't know if I was going to make it. And uh, what I did is I put some scriptures, put YouTube on, and I just cast it down the spirit of death. And I spoke life. I spoke life to a, a deathful situation. I saw a lot of visions of death. I saw rivers of death. I saw skeletons. I had visions of many people in the spirit of death. And I had to come against it in the spirit. I was a prophet. And as a, a, a woman of God, evangelist, that he has called me, I had to speak and decree life. And uh, I did self-deliverance, but I wasn't the only one. I don't give myself credit. I give God credit, and I give all of you who have prayed for me to make this breakthrough. Um, but I also got to let you know that it was perseverance. I had to make a decision to stand, and I got I had to pull through. I had to I had to stand. I had to force myself to go break through. I I couldn't allow the spirit to overcome me. I I felt it was going to overcome me. It was trying to kill me. Um, I really felt that there was an attack, uh, spiritual uh, witchcraft. Uh, word curses. I had uh, four threats in the past uh, month. My life was in danger. Um, dealt with some domestic violent people. Uh, I was in a shelter. Uh, it was pretty good at first. Um, God was using me in that area. But you know the enemy always tries to turn, try to get rid of you somehow. So, um, it's just been trying times for me, and I just want you to continue to pray for me, and I think now I feel like God is going to use me even, even more. Uh, he's going to use me in a mighty way, and sometimes things have to happen to us so we can get to a place, because sometimes we don't want to do what God wants to do. We run. We get scared, we withdraw, we throw in the towel, been there, done that, get selfish, but he has a way to, you know, to twist our arm, the only way we're going to stay, we're going to overcome is we stay under his wings, we have to stay in faith, can't be speaking death, we can't be speaking Thinking, the stinking thinking. We have to we have to come and speak live scriptures. We gotta get into his word, be in his spirit. We gotta get this flesh, this mindset got to get changed. It's not easy for me, guys. So keep me in prayer. I think I'm out of the woods. I'm still feeling a little weak. Keep me in prayer for a home.